Disclaimer, if you are triggered by divination, astrology, tarot, and worldly discussions, this channel is not for you. Please hello guys welcome back to my channel wisdom and life here and i am back with another celebrity tarot reading we're going to be pulling on chloe kardashian very quickly and just a little um <laughs> lamar odom and tristian you know the girls were fighting they were fighting but okay okay before we get into this reading if you're new here welcome my name is bianca but um, most people know me as Miss J and welcome to Wisdom and Light. We do celebrity psychic readings, monthly horoscopes, and whatever that's going on in the cosmos. If you've been here from the beginning, thank you. If you got here just last week, thank you. I appreciate all of the thumbs up and the comments and the subscribers. We are almost at 50k, so it's just crazy um, that all of you are just here on this wild ride we called life and you're doing it with me so thank you so much for being a supporter and just being a part of the soul family and just a heads up guys please keep in mind i do not dm anyone for personal sessions i do not leave comments offering my services so please know that it's more than likely fake and all of my social media links and my email address and website is all in the description box down below so please always go there do not trust anything that is sent to you directly always go into my description box because it has all my social media links so let's begin so the reason why i wanted to do this reading was because i was minding my business and what was i doing i was working on candles and i saw <laughs> lamar and tristan fight and tristan got all in his feelings don't be like I don't know what he said but I mean I'm sure you guys are aware if you're not aware um Tristan kind of clapped back at Lamar Odom for leaving a little likey likey comment under Chloe's picture so I mean I guess Tristan was pissed off Tristan was pissed off he was he was he was very upset and Lamar's not taking it seriously he's calling it oh we're fraternity brothers shade I see you Lamar but you know, it's just so ironic to me how Tristan has such an issue with Chloe's ex-husband, you know, calling her hot still. And all he does is cheat. I mean, I'm sure any of us would have a chance with him. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because we're, like, not beautiful. We're so beautiful. All of us are beautiful. You are beautiful. We're all beautiful, right? But... That's how much he was just giving himself away. We all have a shot with him. Shit. All we got to do is line up. So for him to get upset that her ex-husband said, why you still look good? You know, he wasn't having it. So, you know, it's, it's crazy how a man can do what he wants. But no, 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 no. You can't do that. But here's the thing. Plenty of people have probably said that Khloe Kardashian is beautiful or whatever, right? But... It hit home because that's Lammy. That's Lammy. That's Lamar. That was her. Listen, I may not agree with a lot of the things that Chloe has done in regards to girl code. I mean, that's a different topic for another time. This is solely on her reading. But before all of that, I can honestly say, and this is just this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree. I know Lamar has made mistakes. But I really did like them together. I really, I saw the love. I saw how much they loved each other. So, you know, it really hurt to see them end because you could tell. And, and just, oh my God, I'm not even going to go into it. We already know the backstory. So we're just going to do a reading on the energy surrounding the two of them. So this is Lamar Odom spread. We have the Awakening card reversed. We also have Fortune. Okay. We have the Seven of Cups. And I want to pull up one more card. Tradition. So I want to focus on um, this card right here. Tradition, which shows up as the last card. Okay. And back of the deck energy. Mm. Okay, 
But what's interesting is you don't know what you have until it's gone. And I hate that people have to lose something to realize what they have. Rather than, rather than just appreciating what you have while the person or the opportunity is there. And maybe that's a flaw that humans have, like some of us, where we don't appreciate it until it's not there anymore. So this is why I say love your parents, love your close family, like cherish those moments with the people that you love because we take those moments for granted. And just the other day, I was telling my sister, you know, all of the friendships that I've had and some of the friendships that didn't last because it served this purpose. I said, you know, in that moment where I spent so much time with this person and I loved them with all of my heart, I would have never imagined that that moment had an expiration date. And me and my sister, we just sat there because we were sitting in the car having these like long conversations. We got stuck in the rain and we couldn't leave the car until it stopped raining. It's been raining a lot in Florida. And I said, I would have never dreamed that the moments that we shared like that, it had an expiration date. It had a date where it would all stop. So who can relate to that? Who can relate to having moments with someone that you loved and now you don't even talk to them anymore. You don't see them anymore. You're watching them live their life like... You guys were never close. And that's just this crazy thing about just breakups and things not working out. So that's Lamar's energy. It's him realizing I would have never dreamed that this happened, but it did. With the awakening card here reversed, this is actually him waking up, but too late. Waking up and realizing what have I done? And sometimes it takes people longer to realize it. And also keep in mind, guys, when people lose a very important person in their life through their own mistakes, they're like some it just depends on how the person is. But based on Lamar's energy, he was just living his life. He was really trying to come back to himself. He was really and he's been through a lot. Like even when I'm looking into his mind, he still has. Does Lamar suffer with memory loss? He goes through that sometimes. He remembers things, but he deals with not remembering certain things. So it really helps for Lamar to document things on video. It really helps Lamar to really cherish those moments on film. Because he is the type of person where his long-term memory is not that great. Or it, it hasn't been that great as of lately. But who he remembers 100% is the love that he had for Chloe. Like the connection that they had. But interesting enough, I don't know if it was because of the condition that he was under when he was um, when he was very sick at that time. Remember when he was in the hospital a lot and Chloe went over there? I mean, quietly, I followed the whole thing because I was rooting for them. And I was like, I can only imagine what Chloe's going through. Even though they're going through a divorce, she is there for him. She handled everything from what I understand. And I'm just talking about their love. I'm, I'm not talking about other people and how other people feels about them. I'm talking about these two in particular. That's what this reading is about. He has a very, he doesn't remember certain things. I'm, I'm picking up on that. So it's almost like in that time of him overdosing and sleeping so long, like in a coma, I, I believe he was in a coma. I don't remember exactly what happened, but I keep seeing him just being very just for source type of energy it's almost like he woke up no he woke up from what i'm picking up on spiritually he woke up and he remembers the love that he had for chloe but the magnitude of what she of what she meant to him and the connection that they had it's almost like it got lost because he lost himself when he went through that re experiencing his children re-experiencing being a father re-experiencing being a person re-experiencing being an nba player coming back to lamar he really did lose himself and he became a shallow of himself like even like even when people would see him after he woke up from that it's like he was only a, sh a shadow of himself i can't even explain it but it was like seeing a ghost it was like where's that twinkle in his eye where is lamar where's my friend like he, he was talking very weird. Like he was just readjusting and relearning himself. So it's almost like he was frozen in time. He thawed out and now he's readjusting to the world. 
that's what it feels like that's what his energy feels like so now that he is himself again and you know he dived in that he's dating all these people that he had no business dating <sighs> oh my god he had no business dating that woman I, I no business like no business dating that woman but <laughs> anyways it's almost like everything just came rushing back to him back to back to back to back to back now he remembers what chloe meant to him i'm not making excuses for lamar he was definitely in the wrong for what he put her through and he had addictions he he had problems but i cannot lie to you guys and say that the love between them very powerful it's it's still very much well here and he feels it and it's waking him up to fight for her so this is awakening in a very deep 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 level realizing what he lost and waking up to this is what I have to do so he actually feels that he needs to make this right he has had moments with God and he has been having dreams about Chloe back to back and he's been having dreams about Chloe for about a year now even when he was with that other woman that wanted a whole reality show and all time yeah her he was having dreams about her heavily heavily and he tried to shake it he tried to ignore it and again this is so deep he forgot the depth of how much he loved her and out of nowhere his conscience like everything his soul his higher self just attached to his body attached to himself and he's a hundred percent who chloe remembered because there was a point where maybe for four or five years he was not really himself yes he was gentle he was kind he was a cool dude but there was something like he went through something and when you go through things like that there's a part of you that's gone and you work so hard to come back to that and coming back to himself. Hence why he's been having a lot of moments with God. He is actually very intuitive and very spiritual. And then we have the seven of cups. So this is him coming back to himself. This is the confusion. This is the haze and everything starting to clear up. And now he feels that this is his destiny to get her back. So Lamar is on a mission to get Khloe Kardashian back into his life by any means necessary he feels that this is destined he feels that this is the love of his life he feels that this is what he needs to do okay now let's focus on chloe's energy that was really deep and lamar is a very deep introspective intuitive but also a gentle person you know he's a scorpio you know scorpio men they they have their tendencies to you know to flirt and do stupid shit behind people back but when they love you when they're in love it's deep i'm talking about scorpio men not scorpio women i'm talking about scorpio men and this is he loves her he loves her and he's reawakening to just how much So now let's focus on now here's the thing with chloe chloe she didn't want to leave lamar that's also something that i'm picking up on she was guided to leave him it was a business decision for her to walk away she also had to do it because it was just getting too much for her but at the time it wasn't looking good for her brand so it, it pained her to leave him and she didn't leave him until she knew that he was okay We can say what we want about Chloe, but she she stuck beside him. Yes, she did. And I'm not talking about, you know, <laughs> in a joking manner. She really did stuck. She stayed beside him. She did that. As aside from everything he's done, the cheating, the lying, the all of that, on his deathbed, she was there. And she didn't have to be there king of pentacles okay <laughs> so lamar he has been sending her gifts he has he's about to start sending her gifts he's about to start showering her with like a thousand roses in her apartment he's going to start laying it on her thick because one thing about lamar he's very romantic he is very 
he's very um he's very charming when he wants to be he's really gonna lay it on her thick and i don't feel that chloe is going to put this on her social media she's going to want to keep their interactions quiet they have been speaking or they're about to be speaking very briefly she doesn't want lamar to proclaim his love for her to the public she's tired of the public she's tired of explaining herself to people she's tired of the embarrassment so she's hoping that lamar doesn't make a spectacle of it but too late this is just lamar screaming on the top of his lungs that he wants you back and chloe is like okay be quiet i'm, I'm a cancer um this is too much for me i don't want people in my energy no just, let's just keep this on the low. I'll, I'll figure this out, but I'm not sure. That's her energy. She's not sure. But he's going to lay it on her thick. Okay. The three of stores. She's still... Her energy... This is Chloe's energy. So I'm, I, I read Lamar's, and this is Chloe. Chloe is more so like, you can't just fuck me over, treat me like crap, break my heart, rip me apart... And then I had to put myself back together. You go missing for years. I'm watching you date other people. I moved on because I had no choice. I go through so much embarrassment with my baby's father. <laughs> and now you're coming back because you remembered how much you love me. You remember that I was there for you. You remember that I meant something to you. You remember that at one point I was your wife. It doesn't work that way. Like her energy is very, you can't just come back and I'm, I'm just supposed to fall into your arms like all of that didn't happen. No, I really need to think this through. Do I want to do that again? Because it's not like I'm in a positive situation with this one. How do I know that I'm not walking into another thing? Because here's the thing, Tristan, despite his buffoonery, guys, Tristan cheating, Chloe it's like Chloe, I don't want to say she can handle it because no one should experience that back to back like that on a regular basis. But her vibe is Tristan is teenager shit compared to what you put me through, Lamar. Tristan is kitty playground energy. What you put me through, that's her vibe. So she's like, am I really about to step into that and trust you on that level? So she feels that Tristan hurts her very surface, even though it's still hurtful. But Lamar broke her to the core and she doesn't know if she can trust him to just run into his arms. But that is her fear. So let's so let me intuitively push through her walls. Spirit, connect to her higher self. What does her higher self want? Her higher self and his higher self, they're actually still intertwined. So right now, the, the push and pull, the, the walls up, that's her physical form, remembering trauma. But her energy, her soul, and his soul, they're still intertwined. They're still together. As wild as that may sound. However, the trauma that she went through is not going to allow her to just move forward like that. It's not... So Lamar, you got a challenge because people are thinking, oh, Chloe's going to take Lamar back. It doesn't look like it's going to be that easy. We got the five of wands and the eight of wands here. Okay, ten of wands. Yeah, she does not trust him. But does she still love him? The king of um, swords, the queen of swords, the princess of swords. Okay, the queen of cups. So love him. The king of wands. The six of wands. Back of the deck energy. She does still love him. She does. But she's going through things with Tristan. King of swords and queen of swords. They're kind of going at it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Chloe's trying to find peace. So her energy is, this could not be the time that you're gonna try to do this like i'm really right now fighting with my baby's father and you're making shit worse by flirting with me and everybody's talking about it and lamar's energy you know he's a scorpio child he don't care he's like i don't care you're coming back you're gonna come back to me and we're gonna make this work because i'm different now so lamar doesn't care about any of that 
he made it very clear what he wants and he's going to continue to keep pursuing because he knows that she still loves him but chloe is coming to a place of her loving herself more or putting herself first like you have to show her for maybe oh for a while before she could consider it because she's still dealing with stuff with tristan so it's kind of sticky how does she feel about lamar she loves him but yeah she still loves him she loves him but she does not oh yeah she she loves him but see she's putting herself first right now she she can't give him that she can't this is lamar this is how he feels towards her. Jenny Lamar. Deception. Yeah, she, like, Lamar, she doesn't trust you. You did a lot of deception. You did a lot of stuff. He is really going to try to, he's really going to try. Show me Christian. Will her and Christian work out? I heard it's complicated. The Eight of Pentacles. So Christian is trying to get back into Chloe's good side with the Eight of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. It's not looking good for Christian. More information is going to be coming out about Christian. He could have, he could, there could be another baby out there or a baby manifesting. So. This is going to give Lamar that push. I feel like any of her friends would just be like, no, don't go to Lamar. Like, he wasn't any better than Tristan. Move on. Do this or do that. This is what I'm going to say to that. And then I will end off this reading because I'm not really seeing much other than spirit repeating itself. I'm not saying that a woman should take back a man that was terrible. I I'm not saying that. However, I don't know everybody's story. I don't know everybody's situation. All I can do is just look at everything and look at patterns and just say, "Hey, I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not sure for that. I I don't know. I don't like this for you, especially if I care about you." But one thing that I'm learning or that I've learned over the past 2 years is when it is a relationship between two people, I don't know what goes on behind closed door. I don't know the depth that they share. I don't know the love that they have. But if Chloe feels that she can look past this and give him another chance, who am I to say that she's dumb for that? Considering that was the love of her life based on this reading. And I'm not saying that Lamar is perfect. I'm not. But is anyone perfect nowadays? I feel like if she goes back to him, I'm not going to be mad girl that was your husband at one point i'm not going to be mad at her y'all gotta remember he was very close to rob he was very close to, with the family so that addiction addiction can really take someone away from just their everyday from their family and being that i feel like all of us have like a cousin or a family member that struggles with addiction we know what you know where i'm going with this it's like I'm coming back to myself and I haven't been that person and I just really want what I had that I didn't appreciate when I was on drugs. So you know what? All I can say is this. If Chloe says I'm going to take baby steps with this, I'm not judging her. Straight up. I'm not. Because at this point, I mean, <sighs> at this point. I don't know but it's it's looking very up in the air so what I'm my prediction is this Chloe and Lamar are going to be speaking I don't see them getting back together like right away or anything like that because Chloe doesn't trust him meanwhile more information is going to be coming out about Tristan and Tristan is working like hell to keep Chloe but Chloe is already one foot in, one foot out, and she's very dedicated to her child. Meanwhile, Lamar is just throwing himself at Chloe, and he's going to keep doing that because he had a reawakening. 
and he's realizing she's who I love this is what I need and I'm good once I get her back my life is complete and I'll give her the world I'll give her what I couldn't give her before and if Chloe believes him and she takes him back then God bless them I, like I, God bless them that, that that's really all I can say if she doesn't choose to take him back because spirit's saying it's not even a prediction of she's going to go back to him because it's not that type of reading this is very it's up to you so it's up to Chloe so Chloe's gonna have to really fight this one because she does still love him but she doesn't trust him at all she doesn't trust him and whatever decision that she chooses with Lamar I'm not against it whatever makes her happy because she has been through a lot if if she if God is telling her this is what she needs to do who am I to judge this is getting very interesting but seven of swords ten of swords something's coming up with Tristan and because something's coming up with Tristan Lamar comes in for the kill so we will come back to this reading all I'm going to say is if Chloe decides to take him back it's her choice yeah Chloe if you if you want to get your husband back then go do that follow your heart and I feel like she's doing the right thing by taking her time and not rushing because it's very 50 50 she's not gonna just jump in with Lamar because Lamar their love was really deep so she doesn't want to jump in and then he does something and then she's shattered because that would break her all over again she doesn't she doesn't trust him so Lamar I mean if that's who you want it could take Lamar a year maybe I'm, I'm even hearing two years to really convince her because it's very up and down how does the family feel about it the family actually still likes Lamar they just have like they have their guard up though her family has the, her guard up yeah I'm not seeing another child for Chloe anytime soon I'm not not yet she is promised another child but I'm not seeing it right now had Tristan just stayed committed she would have gotten pregnant again with Tristan but Tristan has been everywhere and in everybody's bedroom mm. so Lamar you got you got an opening so just utilize that opening wisely don't fuck it up the worst that could happen is she says no and they'll always be friends but Lamar Ace of Cups he's gonna fight for her all right guys that's the reading I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching this um reading don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let me know how you felt about this entire reading this was very deep and very heavy and very up in the air and very it's up to Chloe very um cryptic <laughs> but um whatever she chooses as long as she's happy and that's that's all that matters all right guys i gotta go Mwah. bye guys